how to upload videos to your online Thinkific school. Now there's a number of different ways that you can do that, so we're gonna show you now quickly. Now the first way is to, my favorite way personally, is to go into your school and uh, then you're gonna to go to the left hand side and you're going to click on video library. Now this is my preferred way of bringing all of my videos into my school. What I personally like to do is I like to film everything in one go, then do all of the editing in one go, and then upload everything to a Google Drive. Now the reason why I like to upload everything to a Google Drive is because primarily it's a fantastic backup. If my computer exploded, if there was a power cut or anything like that, um, and I lost all of my videos after editing them, I would be devastated. So I just make a habit after editing every video, I'm just uploading them to Google Drive as they're getting completed so that I know if anything happens, I do have that backup on the cloud. Also, why this is a fantastic strategy, and I absolutely love it, is because inside Thinkific, you can connect your Google Drive, yes, to your video library right here. So it means that once you've uploaded everything to the cloud once, you don't ever have to upload again. It's already there. So all you're literally gonna do is they've uploaded to Google Drive. Now you just quite simply transfer them over to Thinkific. There's no re-uploading again because they're already up here in the cloud. So here's what you can do. Click on video library and then click on upload videos. And this bit will take a moment just to load. It's just gonna pop up and give you some options. So as you can see, look, there's a number of different places that you can upload videos from. Now you can literally drag and drop your files straight into this box here from your computer or from your folder. Um, you can use drop boxes and so on. My favorite one is now to go to the Google Drive. So the first thing it will say is, do you want to connect to your Google Drive, yes or no? And it will pop up this box to first ask your permission. So we're gonna say, yes absolutely that's totally fine we're going to allow this to access our drive because it's going to make our life nice and easy now what it will do is it will pop up with your uh, all of your different folders that are in your drive um, so let's click on online courses um, find the folder that you're going to and you'll see all of your videos that you've uploaded into the drive quite simply you just click them all um, now most of these are already uploaded so I won't do it again but you can just click them all um, and I'll just show you how easy this is you just press select the three video files or 10 maximum 10 at this stage um, it will bring them all over and you go upload and voila done that quick, I didn't chop and cut that by the way, this video, that was real time. <laughs> that was actually real time. There was no pausing or anything I did with the video there. That's how fast it is because you're not actually having to upload if it's already in Google Drive, it's already online, okay? So that's why it's so quick and easy. That is why it is my favorite method for adding new content to my course. So here's another way that you can add videos. Um, let me actually let me first of all just show you what I can do now that we've added uh, videos there so you click on my courses and it will take you to your dashboard with all of your courses now let's say I want to add some new videos to my create profitable courses course so click on your course and it will open up your page you're gonna press curriculum so let's go down to the bottom let's pretend I want to add a brand new um, lecture here and it's gonna be a video lecture so I'm gonna click on video lecture now you may have noticed that I label all of my videos with numbers because when I have my course plan then in front of me, each video lecture, what I do go in and do is actually add the video number next to each lecture title so that I know exactly what video goes with which lecture so I don't have to try and scroll through and work out, was that the video for that one? I can't remember, oh now I've got to watch it to check. It just keeps things nice and smooth and easy. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, pop in the title of the video and then you click on this button here. So now remember, we've mass uploaded them to the video library from the main dashboard and we imported them in. Sorry, I just had a bit of a coughing fit then, so I had to pause the video. Um, so because we've uh, transferred them all from Google Drive into our video library, now all we have to do is click on this drop down here and now if I know that it's video number 188 for instance I can start typing that in and voila it will now appear right here and that's it that is the video so I give it that title select autoplay press save changes 
And what happens now, if you want to check what this looks like, you can go over to preview course up here on the right hand side, preview the course either landing page or preview the course as an enrolled student. So click on the as a student button and it will show you actually what this looks like once a student is enrolled. Now remember, because I've pressed the auto play button, my first video will play automatically when this pops up. So there we go. If we scroll down now to where I just added that lecture, the blah, 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 gobbledygook one, <laughs> you'll see now how this will pop up. And that's just one of my random ones. So there we go. That is just one way of uploading your videos. Now I'm going to delete that lecture because I don't want that to be in my course. Um, right, so here's another way that you can do this. Let's say I wanted to add a video. I could do literally go straight into the course, add the video where I want it to go, and I can just quite literally drag and drop the video into this box here and it will slowly load. Um, the problem with this method is sometimes if it's loading, you can't click out and go and do other things. So I find this method a very slow method, which is why I personally don't use it. Now the other method again, you'll see here the bulk importer. If you click on the bulk importer, uh, you can again drag and drop mass content into each of your module sections. Again, I, this is this is really cool. It works really, really well. But uh, I personally find that again, while this stuff's loading, you kind of have to just wait and you can't do other stuff in the back end. So my preferred style is definitely going to that main dashboard and uploading it through the video library on the main dashboard um, via an import of the Google Drive. So I hope that helps give you some ideas of how to upload your videos to your Thinkific school.